Hi everyone, welcome back to another English practice video with me, Gabrielle. Today, we are going to talk about four prepositions. Let me look inside this book for some help. So, the four prepositions that we will talk about today are on, in, at, and by. I will go over each of these prepositions one by one and I will give examples on when they should be used depending on time, transportation, and place. First, let's start with the preposition in. For transportation, the word in would be used for a small compact vehicle that is able to be sat in, but you can't necessarily walk in it. For example, a car. See this car here? You can only sit in a car, or if you have a taxi, you get in the car and you temporarily own that car and can go anywhere in that small vehicle. From point A to point B, you get into a car, you get into a taxi. Another example would be a small boat, like a kayak or a canoe where you and maybe one or two other people can go inside of it, then you would be going into a boat. For a location, in is generally used and will always mean being inside of something. For example, I have a box. There are candies in this box. I am in a room in my house. Being in something is very straightforward. You are in something, so you would say the word in for something that's in a box or in a room or in a building. Regarding time, in implies a year or a month. You don't say in November 1st, 1990. You would just say in 1990 or in November. Now let's move to the preposition on. On for transportation is used when you are on a larger form of transportation and you can usually walk on it, such as an airplane or a bus or a boat. You are on the airplane. You are on the bus. And I used boat earlier, but that is for a small boat that you would use the word in. For the preposition on, you are usually on a cruise ship or a ferry. So that is when you would use the word on, on a big form of transportation that you can walk on and that has lots of space in it. The exception for on would be a bicycle. On a bicycle, you sit on it, but you are not surrounded by the enclosure of a vehicle or any walls or windows. You are on a bike, it has no motor. You are on the bike. You are sitting on the bike. For things, places, people, the word on is when you are standing on something or if something is being placed on something, such as I am sitting on the couch right now. This is a couch I'm on. This tripod I'm filming you on is on the table. The table is standing on the ground. Or I have this book. I'm putting this book on my lap. Something is being placed on something else. Or you are standing on something. That is when you would use the word on. For time, you would use on to refer to a specific date. On November 3rd, I will get my hair colored. On December 25th, everyone celebrates Christmas. So you would only use the word on to refer to a specific day in a specific month, in a specific year. Or you could even refer to it on weekdays, such as on Fridays, everyone gets the day off work. On weekends, people like to party. The word by can be synonymous or similar to the words close, near, 
next, and beside. The word by is when you drive by something like a telephone pole, a building, or a street light. Or when you're walking, you walked by some trees or children on the sidewalk. And you also use the word by when you are giving someone an approximate time or date. I will meet you around 1030 in the morning by November 1st. I will try calling you by 10 a.m. next week. And for places and things, you will say, I will be right by that location when you want to meet. I will be by your place soon. I will pass by you soon. The word at is very specific and straightforward. You are at that place, at that time, at the door, or wherever you tell someone you will be. You are not near it. You are not in it. You are not on it. You are at that place. You will meet them at that location, at the time that you gave them. No more, no less. All these examples are referring to being near something or close to something, whether it is close to an approximate time, an approximate date, or being near an object, or passing close to it, walking close to it, those kind of things. I hope you all found this video helpful. If some things weren't clear, feel free to ask any questions in the comments. And if you have any advice for teaching tips in the future, feel free to let me know. Like and subscribe if you are learning a lot from this channel and share it with your friends. I hope you all have a good week. Thanks for watching. Bye.